El Paso mother is suing the city and the operator of Camp Cohen Water Park over the drowning death of her three-year-old son. The lawsuit points the finger squarely at the defendants using words like negligent, careless, and reckless. ABC 7's Liloba Tsitsiro poured through those documents and joins us live in the studio with the details. Liloba. Stephanie and Eric, the drowning happened at Camp Cohen Water Park in the Northeast on Saturday, May 13th, just after five in the evening. The little boy, Anthony, was pulled from the water and died hours later in the hospital. Now, at the time, the mother, Jessica Weaver, she told ABC 7 that her son Anthony was playing in the toddler pool. That's about two to three feet of, of water. She said she knew something was wrong when she didn't see him going down the slide. Weaver said Anthony was not wearing a safety vest. She said the next thing she knew, a man had the young boy in his arms. And after screaming for help, she said lifeguards started giving Anthony CPR using an oxygen mask, which according to her, was not working properly. The boy died about seven hours later in the hospital. Weaver is now suing the city, uh, Destination El Paso, and the company that runs Camp Cohen Water Park. She wants at least $1 million in damages. She alleges they were too concerned with packing the park with, with people that day that safety wasn't a priority. She points to things like not having enough safety equipment, not properly training lifeguards, and not having enough lifeguards on duty. The suit also accuses the city of either deliberately or accidentally destroying video evidence in an effort to deflect blame. Here's Ms. Weaver's attorney talking about that. I wanted to make sure that I got the video camera evidence to show exactly what happened. Where was she? Where was her child? Where were all of these lifeguards? And I, I, was, I learned very quickly that there is no video evidence. Uh, the, the video camera system was supposed to be working. Video should have been captured. No one can give me an explanation of, of why it's not there. Now, we did reach out to the city, and they sent us a statement which reads, quote, We appreciate being given the opportunity to comment, but respectfully decline to comment on active litigation. Now, coming up at 6, you're going to hear from more from the attorney about how they feel the city could have done more to make safety a priority at the park. Liloba Sitsiro, ABC7. All right, Liloba.